There's also this little bag knitted for the illusion by my wife, Stephanie. The bag protects the illusion when I travel, protects the mirror, and makes sure that when I arrive where I'm going, I just have one illusion and not a lot of little bitty ones. <laughs> a solid mirror, a solid needle, and the illusion of solid through solid. Listen. Now you can also take the mirror and bend it, creating the illusion that the mirror is flexible and will actually bend. That's cool, but my favorite part is to take the knitting needle and run it through the mirror, creating the illusion of solid through solid. This, of course, is why we call this an illusion, because we all know it's impossible to put a solid object through a solid object if that's exactly what we've done, using the solid knitting needle and a very solid, very shiny mirror. People always ask me how my magic is done. I never tell, but I will give you a little hint. This particular trick, Thank you.